Our brand new hour is beginning now, brought to you in part by Master Built. Here we go, that most wonderful time of year. And uh, we're sitting here as we speak, enjoying delicious food from the Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryer from Master Built. John is back from Master Built. Big John, how you doing, buddy? Oh, guys, I am doing much better now that I'm here with you. <laughs> Let me tell you something. Uh, you know, watching you cook uh, on the uh, the turkey fryer uh, just moments ago. I mean, you, the shrimp, potatoes, uh, with corn on the cob. Obviously, we got a turkey we're enjoying now too. You've dropped in there. Uh, it's all about cooking more Donuts. than just as yeah, much more than just a turkey fryer, guys. People are amazed that uh, this time of the year, it's all about having the best turkey you've ever tasted, uh, doing it the safe way. And that's what Master Built has brought to uh, the market is the Butterball Turkey Fryer. So it gives you that peace of mind. But we have been a little uh, creative this morning. We serve you guys some donuts, mm. uh, doing a little donut bar. You can mm. have some fun mm. with that. Yeah, man. You can fry. You ask, uh, can we fry fish yeah. and hush chicken puppies. and mm. hush puppies? Yeah. If you can fry it, boil it, or steam it, you can do it in the mm. Butterball Turkey Fryer. But, you know, with it being Thanksgiving right around the corner, uh, people want to know how do we prepare our turkey mm-hmm. and and it come out perfect juicy. every single time. Got to be juicy. juicy. It's got to be. It's all gotta about the taste. Ju- but we've all had to dry white meat when somebody we, know how to cook it. We have all had to worry about the dreaded dry turkey. And uh, you know, for the past thirty years, we've been deep frying turkeys at the Macklemore House, and there's nothing better. Um, so when you think about the number one meal of the year, which is Thanksgiving, bring it yeah. on, bring it on, and you're going to do lunch. Well, you don't have to get up at three o'clock in the morning to prepare your turkey. You How many have hours to, we got to leave it in there? Man. Oh, and you and you don't have to worry about your oven being full of a turkey. Yeah. Can't you can get anything your, else in there. You can do your casseroles and your Sweet desserts potato. in the in the oven. Sweet while potato you, casserole. You freed it up. Macaroni cheese. Macaroni Where's that dressing cheese? in there? Oh my goodness! Can't get it in there. Got a yeah. big old turkey. You got in a there. turkey yeah. in there. Well, now you're <laughs> deep frying your turkey. Not only much better, much safer. Uh-huh. And here's the key. You don't have to do the, this recipe outdoors anymore. Guys, we fried the turkey and the donuts and did the low country boil in the studio here because we've made this product safe. It's countertop safe. It's thermostatically controlled. It is the only way. They got it on the countertop. Yeah. I was sitting on the table. And, and it's, it's not very, I mean, it's compact. Is it's, it? it's an electric appliance that has the ability to fry, boil, or steam anything that you can imagine. And that's really what Thanksgiving needs to be about, is, is bringing mm-hmm. your family and friends together, enjoying good food. So when you sit around the dinner table, you know what? We want everybody to be involved at the McNamore's, and not just one person do the meal. So I fry the turkey. Tanya takes care of the side dishes. The kids get involved mm. and do the desserts. And what kind of, which can, can you put that dressing on you? Oh, oh. He, he, I'm going to tell you something, guys. The one thing we don't put on our turkey is gravy. Easy now. Because you don't need any gravy. Yeah, easy now. He, now you, it's not get wild. Okay, I'm going to tell you something, Rick. You don't be get, kicking that giblet if, gravy if, off the if, table. If you, if, you want some, if you want some, and I love that you called it giblet. That's because yeah, it's the way it's supposed to be called. Well, well, it ain't well, giblet. Now, well, now I do actually say giblet. Well, then you're wrong. Okay. <laughs> okay. Easy. So what you got to do, though, if you want some giblet giblet gravy. Uh, we've had this debate go, for years. Yeah. You go get you a biscuit Ooh. and take care of putting your biscuit with some gravy, mm-hmm. but don't you put no gravy on my turkey. I'm just saying. You don't Your need turkey, it. it is very it juicy. Is. I'll, I'll you give you that, but yes, I, just, it is. I don't know about kicking the giblet gravy off the table. Uh, <laughs> and by the way, we've said this. Well, the gravy is for the dressing. Not yeah, well, that's true. It really is for the dressing. Yeah, because you're going to have some dry dressing, well, but you ain't going to have no dry hey, turkey. Hey, hey, ladies, don't overdo the sage now. <laughs> don't overdo yeah, it. Yeah. I mean, Bubba's going to put ketchup on it, by the way. Well, yeah. no, well you know what? I, I really don't put ketchup on it. Oh, are you sure? Yeah. That's the only thing he doesn't put ketchup on Well, let me ask you this, because this is important, too, because Back to the giblet giblet. This could all be resolved yep. if we would let the letter J handle J <laughs> and let the letter G handle G. Well, the, having G saying G and J and having a J too that, that is, is, is mass confusion. And, and so G should be G, J should be J. End of the. We wouldn't have these kind of disagreements. Yeah, well, I, that's probably way above my intelligence level to go down any path of uh, the English language because in school that's the. Uh, the part where I fell asleep. So, right. yeah, but I didn't. Well, fall you're not the alone. Shop. You're not alone, brother. Not alone. You're not alone. I just say yeah. for you to walk out, walk up to a little female human and call her a little girl. Uh, a little girl. <laughs> 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 
Well, okay. Aren't, let's you, get, aren't you a pretty little Gerald? Let's, let's, uh-huh. get, let's get back on track here since we have digressed. Oh, um, uh, yeah. I, I do have a question for everybody out there. You, you guys as well and everybody listening is, have you ever been intimidated with this recipe when you think about deep frying turkeys? Okay. Oh, yeah. I'm intimidated. Has. I am too. I'm scared we, of we've it. All, John, not, we've not all this. seen we're the TV pictures where somebody burned their house down. Exactly. Yeah. And we have toured the country for the past decade and, and really hardcore for the past Four or five years. We talked about being in New York, going to Fox. We're going to be there deep frying a turkey right before Thanksgiving. Uh, we're going to the Rachel Ray show. Actually, when we leave here to go up there, deep fry turkey for Rachel again. And every time we do this recipe, we're doing it in the studios, inside. Yeah. We're not having to worry about this recipe being intimidated because the butterball turkey fryer eliminates all of that fear. There's no guesswork. It's easy. There's no propane. There's no open flame. So... If you can operate, it's even easier to fry than frying on your stove. It's safer because this product is guaranteed to never overheat your oil. And that's really the problem that you have. Yep. It's overheating your oil. And also the oil cleanup and all that. Mm -hmm. And you can go to masterbuilt.com and click on how to get to know your butterball turkey fryer. We take you through step-by-step how to prep the turkey, inject the turkey, season the turkey, fry the turkey, and most importantly, eat. The turkey. Well, we just had it. It's yeah. so juicy, and, so good. And uh, and they're available at Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot, and Costco. So get your turkey fryer for this Thanksgiving so that you oh, can yeah. enjoy this great recipe. And, guys, oh, I'm yeah. telling you, um, there is no better way. So, Speedy, I challenge you. Yeah. I was I'm a little scared you. of it. I, I haven't came clean, what, a year or two ago. Yeah. I said I'm intimidated Oh yeah. when it comes well, to turkey. I mean, you're John well, not McElmore, anymore, though. I mean, sure it's easy for you. Well, and, and I mean, that's the thing. Can we, I mean, you're Johnny Mac, but you, see, that's I the mean, thing. You're, you're, if you're, I can do it, anybody you're can John, do it. You're Johnny Mac. Then. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're Johnny Mac. Now, we, we, if Speedy's I mean, going to be able to do it, that go. Yeah. I got a beard. Good. I got yeah. a beard. I can't be scared. So, anymore. but yeah. what you're saying is, and I'm looking, it really is. It is, it is the simplest Simple. setup to turkey fry and get mm-hmm. it right that I've ever seen. It, right. it absolutely is. And, uh, you know, when you fry your turkey for Thanksgiving and for Christmas, and by the way, it is the best Christmas present that you can get for somebody. Uh, if, if you're thinking about the guy or even the ladies that want a great appliance, this is a great product to have. And if you want the recipes, everything that we cooked here today are in Dad Gum Mess Good and Dad Gum Mess Good 2. <laughs> 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 because it is too good. Yeah. And um, they're available. The cookbooks are available at QVC, Amazon.com, or your local bookstore, um, Barnes and & Nobles. And um, just have fun cooking. Enjoy time with your family, your friends, and it is all about relaxing don't be intimidated and you will enjoy the best turkey ever promise hands down what what about all these shows you've been on uh, it's just you rachel ray tell yeah. us about that you've already done that before and you're about to do it again yeah well, we were just there last week and um that's actually going to air this friday so um what was fun about going to rachel is um we were doing a thanksgiving meal and uh have have met her at qvc gotten to know her real well her team is Phenomenal. She's so, nice, nice lady. Is she, is she nice the best lady, of all of you've been on? Is that you know, the best? Um, Easy. They are all so good. <laughs> uh, she's the she's the best host that I've ever done. That's named Rachel. There you go. Right. 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 And I love Very Rachel. Good. That's okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, they're all fun, and we have. Uh, we're going to Fox. Um, we do that several times a year. Um, and it's interesting when we go into New York. Boy, the the laws and the regulations. Oh when we gosh. go do some recipes, they just selected at, a commie too, so it's going to uh, get worse. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. Easy. I mean, a card toter. He is, he is a communist. Yeah, yeah. Well, and uh, we don't <laughs> have to worry about any of that. We we did years ago. We did uh, Governor Huckabee's show, and and I'm telling you, we deep fried about six turkeys in uh, in Governor Huckabee's green room. And everybody from five floors down in yeah. the Fox and Friends and the Fox mm-hmm. studio were yeah. coming down wanting to eat some turkey. We fed the audience. I'm telling you guys, there's no better way to do this recipe. It is, it's fun. It's safe. It's convenient. The cleanup is so easy. It just makes and, – and I was going to say, frying your turkey for Thanksgiving and Christmas is great, but then you can use this product for a Super Bowl, you, mm. big race band, football. Fish fry. It's, it's unbelievable. Christmas. Christmas. And uh, I got one last thing to say. There's some folks down in Dothan, Alabama that's listening. I want to send out a special prayer request to Gene McGlamory. He's fixing to have some surgery down there, bypass surgery. Uh, Alicia McGlamory and Gary McGlamory, 
my PR manager and their family, great, great people. So special prayer today. Hey, be sure and remember that. Prayer Warriors, lift that up. We come. Well, there it is, the theme music to the Rick and Bubba game show, Factor Crap. Uh, this is also a board game that you can pick up wherever board games are sold. <laughs> uh, we bought one just like everybody else, and my wife got this for our family, and she thought it would be perfect for the real Greg Burgess, who claims he has a crap detector. Uh, and uh, today, Johnny Mack uh, from Masterbilt, uh, who's just prepared us some delicious food here in the Butterball Electric Turkey Fryer. We're uh, from Masterbilt's going to give away a Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryer for everybody who can win in Factor Crap. Yes. So, we want everybody to win. So right. yep. Takes right. three. You got to win three. You have to get three of these right. Bubba will read you a statement, and you'll decide whether you think that's a fact or you think it's crap. Uh, who's helping today? Is it Johnny Mac or well, is it Greg? Well, Greg is the yeah, yeah. He's the Greg, Johnny Mac. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Johnny Mac is here. I'm kind of flanking, <laughs> but but I don't know that he has a crap detector like Greg. <laughs> yeah, right. well, sometimes yeah, I'm, I'm not sometimes. quite as good at crap as. Now, country exactly. music, you were saying. solid on. I yes. was. Yes. Yeah, Very you were well solid done. on that. Well done. But uh, uh, let's go to Columbus, Georgia. Brandon is standing by. Brandon, are you ready to play fact or crap? Yes, sir. All right, here is your first statement. Barack Obama's great, great, great grandfather was a famous uh, Arkansas racist named Joseph Wright. What? Uh, fact Greg, or crap? Greg, what do you think? That's crap. Crap. I'm um, go. I'm sorry, oh, that's a fact. Oh. That's a fact. <laughs> Dude, he was from Columbus, Georgia. I was rooting for him. I know you know what you do. He can just go now by last Greg once. once. So no, now how was that guy connected to Obama? He was his great, great, great grandfather. Wow. Obviously on his mother's side. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Daniel Boone's mine. Chris <laughs> in Birmingham, 1047 WZZK. Chris, are I you really ready? I thought that was crap. All right. Hey, good morning, guys. Hey, buddy. All right, here we go. Here's your first statement. Queen Elizabeth once had a cameo role as an angry housewife on a British soap opera. Fact or crap? Oh, guys, I'm going to have to go crap on that. You're correct. It's crap. Okay. Good, good job. job. Right. Good good job. Two more right to win the Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryer from Masterbilt. Here's statement number two. NBA player Muggsy Bogues was only five foot three inches. Fact or crap? NBA player? Yep, Muggsy Bogues. Fact. You're correct. Oh, wow. oh. I knew it was short, but I wasn't sure it was that And he short. still got Greg. Here we I, go. And it still, sure still has one well, last I'm not on today, evidently. I can tell. <laughs> I, he said he can sense it. The turkey's got him got, got, <laughs> got, got, got him thrown off. Focused. Chris, if you get this turkey. right, you've got the Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey <laughs> Fryer from Asterbilt. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here's the statement. Danielle Steele. Once solved a real world murder, inspiring one of her best selling books. Fact or crap? Oh, uh, I'm gonna have to get some help here, guys. Is it Greg or? Yeah, what do you think, man? I, I think I, it's I, crap. What really? You <laughs> think it is? Yeah. Did I hear that I from Speedy? I think it's crap. I, I, you think, Speedy, I don't know. Uh, Greg says crap. Chris, do you agree with that? She or, writes or, books. Or, are you really? Gonna, she so she yeah, supposedly I, solved a murder. I, is that what you're I, saying? I, I'm All right, Greg, my turkey fries on you, buddy. Oh, I'm, I'm I see. Crap. All right, crap. Crap it is. Hey! Hey! Uh, 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 uh. Chris, you've just won yourself a Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryer from Masterville. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Awesome. Yeah, he's going to be frying it on his own tune because <laughs> Greg and I can't help him. No. <laughs> oh, boy, he dropped, he dropped that. And, uh, and, the, and, the, and there he went. And yeah. the phones just reset. The yeah. whole bank went down. <laughs> no, that, the banker yeah. is exploding. We'll get him. Yeah, what was call back in a few minutes. Chris in Birmingham. I'll take his. The yes. whole the whole uh, bank <laughs> just shut down, so I apologize. I'll just take it. Hey. Look how many people want these Master Bill is blowing oh, the phones shut up. The phone shut down. the whole phone line down. I'm loving it. All right. So uh, uh, I'm on one. I'm off one. All right. Chris, <laughs> uh, email us or get with us. We will send you this turkey fryer. So sorry about that. I mean, as soon as you won and we were celebrating, uh, I think there people, it went. I think people thought it's just possible. And, well, they, and they, we got five jumped, people said their names. As Chris. many people jumped on the line for my turkey fryer as they did trying to get on the new health care. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he couldn't handle it. <laughs> Shut it down. What does our phone, our phone system and the health care website have in common? <laughs> it has a limit. Uh, hopefully, we'll be more successful in getting on their fryer. <laughs> Jake in Madison, Alabama. Jake, are you ready to play factor crap? Sure, let's go. All right, statement one. Oh, the Carnegie oh. Science Center's Titanic exhibition was temporarily closed in June 2008 because it was flooded. Fact or crap? <laughs> crap. 
Uh, what do you think? I'm going to say crap. I'm sorry. That no. is a crap. I saw that one. Yeah. I, I felt fact on that. I agree. <laughs> I did too. So did John. Y'all can ask Greg. Don't so, forget. So well, did John. You know. Only one time, though. <laughs> Doris in Kentucky. Doris, are you ready? I'm ready. Statement one. The TV dinner was originally invented as a way to get rid of excessive turkey inventory after Thanksgiving. Fact or mm. crap? Oh, Johnny Mac. Johnny Ooh, Mac, it, I know the, that one. The turkey probably was not deep yeah, fried. Yeah, Greg. <laughs> well, you oh, think, Greg, oh, fact or crap? Get your Papa Java and let us know fact, fact we're or gonna crap. Go, we're going to go with fact. I don't know. Greg says fact. Doris, you agree? I agree. It is true. It's <laughs> oh, really? I wasn't confident. I got help on that one. Yep. All right, they'll turn to the turkey people. <laughs> oh, 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 Johnny Mac Turkey knew that one. Yeah. All right, uh, Doris, you're still alive. Here we go. Let's do another one. Norman Mailer ruined his campaign to be mayor of New York when he stabbed his wife with scissors. Well, that'll Back do it. Factor crap. That'll do it. I'm going to have to have help again. Well, you only get to use Greg one time. Oh, okay. Uh, wow. I say true. You are correct. It is a fact. Yes. Uh-huh. The good news the is there's a 50-50 chance. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got the best odds you can so make. So he was the Anthony Weiner of his time. That is oh, correct. Oh, okay. Ruined his, yeah, got it. Uh-huh. All right, Doris. Here it is. Here it is. Doris, you stand on the brink of an indoor electric turkey fryer. Come on. All right, here we go. Statement number three. Yeah, Somewhere yeah. over the rainbow was nearly cut out of the movie The Wizard of Oz. Fact or crap? I say fact. You are correct. Yeah! Hey! 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 Now the winner. Woo! Oh, 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 oh. Nobody said. <laughs> <laughs> are you deep frying your turkey this Thanksgiving? <laughs> yeah, Doris. Uh, you now have a butter bill, a butter, <laughs> butter, 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 <laughs> butter ball indoor electric turkey fryer from Master Build. It's yours, girl. Yeah. Well, I appreciate that. Yeah, oh, we'll we put you on hold you. and we'll ship that out to the Bluegrass State. And uh, you, I know you'll take time to make some delicious dishes. Oh, her family will be fine. Oh, you know Doris, Doris can cook. You, oh, yeah. Woo! Doris from Thank Kentucky, you. you think she can cook? <laughs> yeah. All right, Doris, putting you on hold. We'll get all your information. Thank you. Johnny Mac, always fun, buddy. Thanks for being here today. What, well, I want to do another one. Well, well, I mean, well, we could. Well, we could. Hard breaking, man. Huh? I mean, we're up against a Well, let's come back after the break. I, I'm feeling generous. All man. right. Okay. Wow. I'm all right for that. Okay. Huh? You all right with that, Johnny I'm Mac? All right you got enough of them to give away? Yes, sir. Give them away. All right, we'll come. We'll come back. We'll continue to play Factor Crap. They no good in the box. How about I love these? You got to give them away. I love these statements, too. Well, they're educational, Rick. They really are. We'll be back. More factor crap when we return. Johnny Mack and the folks here at Masterbuilt are headed off to Rachel Ray to cook turkeys for her and Fox and Friends this week. So we'll be looking for you on the tube. We'll be right back. Rick and Bubba, Rick and Bubba. Uh, Bubba, uh, we are going to continue to play factor crap. For these Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryers. I just love giving these things away because everybody loves them. Well, they seem excited about it, too. I wish we had a pyramid of them stacked up right over there. We could just give them away anytime. Just take them and go. Uh, John, will you do that? Will you send us a pyramid of fryers? Just a pyramid of of fryers. All right, let's go to Tyler, Texas. Bobby is standing by listening to Kicks (laughs) 105.7. Bobby! Bobby, are you ready ready to play Factor Crap? You bet. I'm ready. Deep in the heart of Texas. All right, there so all right, uh, Bobby. Here we go. Here comes statement number one. Whoopi Goldberg once worked as a makeup artist for Corpse. Fact or crap? I'll go with fact. You are correct. It is a fact. Look at Bobby go. Yeah. All right, Bobby. I uh, got two more. You got to get right to grab one of those turkey fryers. Are you ready? Yes, sir. Here comes Bubba with another statement. Before the British burned it down, of course, we all know in the War of eighteen twelve. The White House was actually painted black. Ooh. Fact or crap? Mm. Need a little help on that one, I guess. Hmm. You go to Greg Burgess. Uh, I'm going to have to go crap, Robert. That's what I'm going, crap. Crap it is. Oh, oh, man. Man. How about Greg? <laughs> How about Greg? That boy, Greg. That boy, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. Hey, uh, here it is. Hey. Bobby, you're there. Bobby, Here it is. Yes, you stand on the brink of an electric indoor turkey fryer from Butterball Masterbuilt. Here we go. The Nobel Prize, the medal that the Nobel Prize winners get, depicts a ring of angry badgers. Fact <laughs> or crap? I think that's crap. 
Crap it is. Oh, wow. Right. That's so bizarre, I thought it might be fun. A ring of angry badges. I'd like to see that. Buddy. I feel like when I try to get on Obamacare, I'm being attacked by a ring of angry badges. Uh, all right, uh, congratulations, Bobby. Thank y'all. Kicks 1057, Tyler, Texas. We'll send you an indoor electric turkey fryer from Butterball and Masterbill. So enjoy that and let us know how it works, okay, buddy? I'll be glad to, sir. All right, Bobby. Bobby's on line eight for the, for the ladies in there. South Carolina's checking go, in. Go. There, there's old Dustin. Hey, Dustin. Hey, fellas. How's it going? We're good, good Dustin. Dustin. Are you ready to play Factor Crap? Yeah, let me just say this will be great right next to my master built smoker. Carry it in my Dodge, Hendrick Dodge pickup truck with a slide of salsa and finish it down with some Buzzbox coffee. Well, <laughs> I tell you what, Rick, just send him one. Just send him one. Yeah, <laughs> All right, here we go. Bubba, are you ready for a statement? Yes, Jim Morrison, his grave in Paris has its own bodyguard. Fact or crap? Who, who has their own bodyguard? Jim Morrison. His grave. Yeah, his grave in Paris has its own bodyguard. They did it again. That's fact. Did we just lose him? Well, yep. Go, it go, expo- go. After all that. The phone bank exploded. Wow. Guys, you realize what the 12 working days of Christmas are going to be like? The phones are just not ready. <laughs> they can't handle it. They just well, cannot they can't handle it. Handle Let me it. say the this. Audience, get in early. How about this? The audience has outgrown the phone system. They have. <laughs> it's time for an upgrade. Go. Go. Uh, I did find Chris. I feel uh, like the, the, I feel sure like that was the, really him? I feel like the website owner of Obamacare. <laughs> <laughs> 62 million. Just, 662 what million that, what dollars. What was his later. name, Rick, from South Carolina? Bobby. Uh, Chris. Dustin. No, you're right. Dustin. Am I right on that? Yep. Dustin, Chris, Am and right? Bobby. One of those. I'll just three. send him one. He's going to win. I just looked at the golden ticket. He's going to be like, who cares? We, we're waiting on ours. Yeah. Go. Rick, we can play live in here. Uh, you want to <laughs> go? Wait, let's just try, here, let's try another. All right. I'll go to Robert in Coleman, Alabama, 1047 WZZK. Are you ready, Robert? Yes, sir. All right. All right Jim Robert. Morrison's Good grave night. in Paris has its own bodyguard. Fact or crap? Say that again. Right. Say that one more time. Okay. This is why it's crashing. It's taking too long. Jim Morrison, his All grave right. in Paris has its own bodyguard. All right. A uh, fact. You are correct. It is a fact. Yes, I knew that. Yeah, I knew that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Who, how are they, how's uh, he protecting him? He's already dead. Greg, <laughs> please don't delay before the phone system crashes. <laughs> yeah, you know, that's true, yeah. Since 1979, a rodent has been the official emblem of Canada. Oh, Canada. Uh, a fact or crap? Crap. You say crap? Yes, sir. Or do you burn? I'm what sorry. Was it? Oh. it is a fact. Oh, ah. oh Canada. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Which will be our, yeah, our new national anthem. Uh, let's go to Steve. Bubba, he's going to ask Ooh. you to, to prove it to him. The old show me state. Uh, Missouri checking in. Steve, welcome to the Rick and Bubba show. How are you? Hey, good morning, guys. How y'all been? You good? You ready to play Factor Crap? I'm ready. All right, here's statement number one. During World War II, copies of the board game Monopoly were adapted to help POWs escape Nazi camps. Factor Crap. Uh, I'll go back. You are correct. It is a fact. I did not know that. Did you know that, Greg? Did not know that. You were hung in a stick, All right, Greg. Statement, I was. statement number two, you're still alive. I didn't even hear the question. <laughs> uh, state, question number two. Texas astronauts. Texas astronauts can vote from space. Fact or crap? Ooh. Fact. You are correct. It is a fact. Oh, wow. Too many Look details. At, had to be a fact. Look at you, Steve. We still got Greg. Steve, if you get this one correct and your phone line holds, you will win <laughs> a Butterball Indoor Electric Turkey Fryer. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right, here we go. Crap. The FBI <laughs> listed Groucho Marx as a potential threat to the life of President Richard Nixon. Fact or crap? Uh, Still got Greg now. Ah, uh, Greg, help me out, buddy. Ooh, golly. That's bizarre. <laughs> that is bizarre, by the way. Golly. It's so bizarre, I'm going to say it's a fact. And I, I'm not, I'm not, mm. confidence is not high. He says fact. Do you agree with that, or Steve, you going the other way? Uh, I'm going to agree with him. Let's go with it. 
It's a fact. Yeah. Oh, hell. Oh, hey, I got this right here. Groucho <laughs> <laughs> Marx with a threat to Nixon. What was he going to do? Burn him with his cigar? What? You know what he said? Watch out, Richard. <laughs> <laughs> that's, uh, 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 that's the greatest thing I've ever heard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so. I forgot about it. <laughs> you know he's still a good imitation of that was Hawk off of MASH. He sure. did right. Overdid it a little bit. Yeah, yeah. sure. All right, and Steve, like me, everything else. Yo, sure. Steve. <laughs> Steve, we're putting you on hold, and you have won an electric indoor turkey fryer from Butterball and Masterbill. Congratulations, buddy. All right. Thank you, fellas. I appreciate it. Thank you for listening, my man. Well, I enjoy your program. really do. You. Thank you. Go Tigers. All right, there you go. Hey. There he goes. <laughs> I like that song. Yeah. All right, let's go. Here we go. Are you, oh, you want to I'm ready. Great shift. Yeah. Some away, Bubba's, baby. Bubba is on fire. I'm big hearted today. To Huntsville. Alabama. large hearted <laughs> today. <laughs> Huntsville, Alabama, <laughs> Athletic also, <hearted. laughs> also a stop on the 20th anniversary tour. Go. What is? Huntsville, oh, Alabama, oh, is, yeah. 100.3 The River. Michael, how are you? Great. How are y'all? Well, we're ready to play Factor Crap. Are you? Ready to go. All right. All right here we Rick go. may want to help you with this one. We'll let Rick oh. be the official helper oh, on this oh, particular oh, question. Okay. Oh, no. South Africa has three capital cities. Factor Crap. That's wow. right, Rick. Oh. Wow, Rick. Crap. I'm sorry, it's a fact. Well, you should have gone with me. I knew that one, by the way. Wow, didn't even go to you. Yeah, and I you're know. our South African expert. I didn't even realize you were a world traveler. Hey, a hey, lot of confusion there. A lot of chaos. <laughs> yeah. A lot of chaos. Yeah. There's three of them, by the way. Yeah. Uh, I know, uh, gosh, Johannesburg. Greg, that's just the only one you know. <laughs> yeah. I mean. I speak Swahili. <laughs> okay, okay. Remember when you were Sun City. <laughs> <laughs> That's from that song. Yeah, sure. Ain't gonna play song. Go. All right, go. one more. Let's try one more. All right, here we go. All right, let's go to uh, Dothan, ninety three seven, where Jimmy Crap. is standing by. Jimmy, <laughs> welcome to the program. How are you? Uh, doing good. Can I get a big roll tide? Uh, and a roll, roll tide, tide to you, Jimmy. Uh, roll tide. Uh, all right, Jimmy, are you ready? Oh yeah. All right, here comes statement number one. All right, the ten the teenage mutant ninja turtles. We all remember that, right? right? Sure was originally a very adult Japanese comic book before it was adapted as a kid's cartoon. Fact or crap? Fact. I'm sorry, that's crap. Oh! Oh! oh. It was something. We should have gone something about it. I remember yeah. hearing something about it. Remember Andy that. Lucky was here? He was part of it. should have gone yep. to Nerdy on that. Of course, he wanted an animated series of us, and we told him too busy. Oh, I forgot about that. <laughs> <laughs> well, it ain't too late. Rick, we were time travelers, if you remember. <laughs> just realize who it was. First episode, we were meeting Abraham Lincoln. <laughs> and I clearly said, don't go to the show. Right. <laughs> well, go, there it is. We, how, about go, we, how about we gave away a lot of turkey fires? Sure did, Rick. Congratulations to the winners. <laughs>